Welcome to our tutorial on logical operators. We've got two text boxes in our form A and text box B. Below is a label where the result value will be displayed. Let's go take a look at our code now. Here we've got a routine which reads like this. If A equals 1, then if B equals 2, then the label result displays yes. If the first statement is false, we move to the else statement, and the label will display the result no. If the second statement is false, we move to the else statement, and the label will display no as well. Let's run our application to test this out. If A equals 1 and B equals 2, now let's test, we have a result. If A equals 2, and b equals 2, our result is no. Now let's implement the logical operator AND here. I'm going to comment out these three lines here. Now let's add an extra set of parentheses here. Now our statement reads as follows. If A equals 1 and B equals 2, then the label displays yes. Else, the label displays no. Let's test it to see how it works. A equals 1 and B equals 2, we've got a yes. With A equal to 2, we have a no. Let's modify our code a little bit more. Let's add the OR logical operator. OR may not be our best choice because both sides of this statement can be true. That is, A can equal 1 and B can be equal to 2. Let's replace this with A. Now let's review our logic. If A equals 1 or A equals 2, then. And let's comment out this line as well. Now let's run our application. If A equals 1, the label displays yes. If A equals 3, the label displays no. If A equals 2, the label displays yes. Works as planned. Back to our code. Let's check out the not syntax. If I enter not here, it reverses the value that this comparison produces. Before, in order to produce the result yes, A had to equal 1 or 2. Now, if A equals 1, our result is no. If A equals 2, our result is no as well. When A equals 3, our result is yes. And let's go back to our code. Now, if I enter another not here, it will reverse the results again. Let's test it. A equals 1, the label displays yes. And this concludes our tutorial on logical operators.